Don't blame you. Yeah. Hello and welcome. I'm Peter Bradley here in New York City. And tonight we're going to discuss the Royal Tenenbaums, Bottle Rockets, and Rushmore. All three movies directed by Wes Anderson. And here we have in the studio tonight in New York, we have Stephen Digman, Sanjay Matthew. In uh, San Francisco, we have Kumar Palana and Dipak Palana. And in Los Angeles, we have Brian Tenenbaum and Andrew Wilson. All six of these actors have appeared in Wes Anderson movies. So, now let's start here in New York with uh, Sanjay Matthew. Uh, tell me about your role in Royal Tenenbaum. Well, I, I play this tennis player named Sanjay Gandhi, and actually the pronunciation is Sanjay. What did I say? Sanjay? You said Sanjay. Oh, but I'm it's sorry. actually spelled S A N. Well, I grew up too, uh, as Wes Anderson did in Texas, so we sand is san and san is something else. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I play this guy. He is a world class tennis player named Sanjay Gandhi, and he defeats Richie Tenenbaum, who's played by Luke Wilson in the pivotal match at the U.S. Nationals. Wait, Luke Wilson. Now we have here. Um, in uh, Los Angeles, we have Andrew Wilson. Now, Luke Wilson and Andrew Wilson, are, th are they related? They're brothers. Yeah, um, Luke is the youngest. Oh, uh, Brian, uh, uh, Brian, do we have you out there? Yes, sir, right here. Brian, right here. where is Andrew? Is he stuck in traffic? <laughs> um, you know what, I've been trying to call Andrew uh, for about an hour and a half now. He yes. promised me yesterday he'd be here and I don't know, he was going to drop his son off at my house with my babysitter and drive 10 minutes to the studio and can't find him, no cell phone, no house. Well, um, that's good, that's good. Now tell me, Brian, uh, uh, now you've been in how many of the um, Anderson movies? I've been in three of the Anderson movies. And what roles did you play? Um, starting with the most recent movie, The Royal Tenenbaums, I play a uh, EMT driver who loads a uh, priest into an ambulance after a melee at a wedding. Um, now that sounds interesting. How did you prepare for that? Uh, well, let's see. I prepared by uh, <clears throat> looking at the line that I was supposed to say and then showing up on the set and saying it about uh, probably 20 times <laughs> that day. And I actually, I never got it right. They had to, I think, digitally correct what I said because I never got it right. Oh, really? Uh, well, that's very interesting. Well, uh, but so then if you, if you, so if you, when you prepare for a role, you don't really learn the lines, actually. Yeah, well, I've never had a role that uh, actually was lines. They're usually pretty much just lines, singular. Um, yeah. <clears throat> in Rushmore, and I had an even smaller role than, than I did in Royal Tenenbaums, yeah. where I said something about cutting down a tree. Cutting down a tree. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. And you were also in uh, Rushmore. That was Rushmore that we're talking about. Oh, I'm about. sorry, Bottle Rocket. Bottle Rocket, yeah. yeah, that was sort of my finest moment. Is as it an Bottle actor. Rocket or Bottle Rockets? I've always thought it was Bottle Rocket, but uh, mm. you should probably is, consult the director for that uh, one. Is uh, 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 Stephen Dignan, uh, <coughs> is it Bottle Rocket or Bottle Rockets? Um, it's Bottle Rocket, yes. Yeah, one, it, as in one Bottle Rocket, I see. Let's go to San Francisco and talk to uh, Kumar Palana. Now, Kumar Palana. Yes, you, sir. Uh, what, what films of Mr. Anderson's have you participated in? I played the first time with uh, Mr. Uh, uh, I played my own name there was in the first movie, The Bottle Rocket. Yeah. What was your character? Safe Cracker. A safe cracker? Yeah. How did you prepare for that? <laughs> well, I do some magic tricks and I do some juggling and uh, I'm an all-around personality. How about Rushmore? Rushmore, I play little parts and I was very happy there. Oh, I see. Now, now the man sitting next to you, uh, Dipak, is, is he... Uh, yeah, he plays also the, the three movies. Is he, a, is he a relative of yours? Yeah, he's my son. Ah. Nepotism. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Sorry. Um, that's 
Yes, that's fine. Yeah. So, uh, 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 Mr. Dignan, back to, in New York, what are your current projects? Uh, I just started about a week ago. I'm a new payroll accountant at Dean and DeLuca, especially food store down at Prince and Broadway. You mean? So I have a little office downstairs below the store, and uh, I basically do the payroll, and who knows, I might jump up on the floor and work in the cheese department someday if they're shorthanded eventually. So uh, how do you, how does, how is it that you have come to, um, to be an actor in these movies? Um, well, I wanted to tell you about another current project. Oh, I'm another current on, project, But yes. I'll answer the actor okay. question. Um, I'm also, uh, I'm practicing with this Tibetan rock and roll band, a bunch of like Tibetan guys. And we have a guy from, uh, whose family's originally from Puerto Rico and one guy who's, I think, Japanese American, maybe, but anyway, it's just we're performing for Losar. Now, so. Brian Tenenbaum, what do you look for in a script? Um, I just look for a script, pretty much. If somebody yeah. puts one in front of me, then I take the job. What sort of direction did uh, Wes Anderson give you? Uh, mostly, it was about uh, the volume at which I spoke and the intonations of my line, which is, uh, I think he may have broken an ankle. I think he may have broken an ankle. I think he may have broken his ankle. Just really minor variations on that, on those seven or eight words. Uh, 25 takes, 25 different ways to say it, and not a one of them was right. Mm. <laughs> well, uh, Kumar Palana, are you, are, you, are, are, are you an actor? I'm an actor all my life. Ah. Entertainer. Did you? Did, I, I did in the live shows uh, in the theater, vaudeville times. I also worked. I also worked nightclubs and cabarets and Las Vegas and Paris. And, 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 and in Paris, and did, yeah. uh, you obviously uh, did. You grow up in India. Yeah, I was born in India and I left India many years back. Do you have? Do any of you have any questions, or would you like to relay any information to one another? Since you all seem to be good friends, I mean the lines are open. We can all. I'm just lucky to be everywhere I go. I always find the friends. I don't know. Well, it's you look like a, a you look like a friendly man. Well, I am. Yes. I'm always as long as I'm smiling. You're not smiling. Uh, well, that's where I get the friends. Uh, Brian Tenenbaum. Yes, sir. What was it like working with Gene Hackman? Um, pretty limited exposure. Uh, Working with Gene Hackman, I uh, I was I worked for one day. Yes. Um, let's see what I remember. Gene Hackman, I remember. What were you impressed with his acting? Uh, after I saw the finished product, I was very impressed with his it, acting. You mean you mean while he was doing it in front well, of you and talking, you weren't impressed? Yeah. Well, the way the shot that I was in worked, it, I really couldn't see what he was doing because it's a, of, just a coincidence that your name is Tenenbaum. I take it. Well, we won't go into that, but I suppose it. I think I like that. I did. Th were you hired because your name is Tenenbaum? Um, that's tough to say. I I wouldn't. If my name wasn't Tenenbaum, I probably would not have been in the movie. That's a good answer. <laughs> now, are you yeah. from Texas? No, I'm from Savannah, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia. Peach. Mm -hmm. The Peach State. Sanjay, besides being a, a, a terrific actor, do you do any other sort of work? Yeah, I'm a psychiatrist. That's my real job. A psychiatrist. At Columbia. Well, that must really sort of tie into the acting work because I, I would think that most actors like to get to the core of their character they're playing. So, did you find that this helped you play the part you played in the Tenenbaums much better than if you hadn't, say, been a psychiatrist? Probably had very little anything to do with it. I want to know about. Uh, about Zoloft. What can Sanjay tell me about, about Zoloft? Zoloft? Yes. You know. So Brian, Zoloft is an antidepressant yeah. and it's much like Prozac or Paxil and so on and you can use it for basically everything in psychiatry or a lot of different disorders. Depression, anxiety, social anxiety, panic. Now what's what's your favorite drug? My favorite drug that I prescribe or that I... Yeah, well, you know, go, feel free. Talk. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually a big fan of this drug called Remeron, which not too many people mm -hmm. have heard of. But it's an antidepressant that also helps you sleep, doesn't have any sexual dysfunction. Ah, Remeron. Uh, uh, write that down, Remeron.
See, the problem with Zoloft is you can't have an orgasm, and there's all kinds of sexual problems. Right. And Brian, Remeron doesn't have that. Brian uh, Tenenbaum, what, do you, what is it that, uh, I, I take it none of you are actors. Uh, what do you do professionally? Professionally, I am a, uh, uh, I sell steel for a uh, steel distributor. You're kidding. No joke. Wow. Why, why would I? Is that, is that shocking? No, 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 uh, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I just love, I love this. Uh, oh, dear. I think we just uh, lost uh, San Francisco. I'm, we, so are, are we going to be able to get them back? Yes. What does San Francisco have to do with me selling steel? We don't even need them for this story. Yeah, let's, tell, let's, <laughs> let's, let's hear about this. Uh, let's hear about steel. I sell steel for a steel distributor, yeah. which has sort of a uh, historically been a family business. I do not work in my family business, but I work in the same industry that my family uh, was in years ago. So I don't have really any other talents, so I had to uh, resort to uh, any kind of job my dad could get me through his connections in the industry. Right. Well, how is steel sold? Steel is sold... Um, over the telephone, by truck, by rail. Um, I'm not sure how, when you say how is it sold. It's I mean, sold you don't, it's not door to door, I take it. Yeah. No, we don't do a lot of door to door, but we have outside mm. salesmen who do knock on uh, steel and users' doors and try and sell it to them, but it's not like a Bible or a vacuum cleaner. You can't sell somebody steel that doesn't need it. <laughs> By the pound, by the ton, right. by the hundred pounds. Hundred pounds and hundred feet is the is the most common uh, denominator. I see. Did you find, uh, Sanjay, that when you were playing tennis, did the, all the technical stuff around you did that distract you from your game? Well, I'd, I'd been in situations where there are a lot of sort of people in the audience and just stadium type atmosphere. Oh, you played it in was shot, It was shot at the old U.S. Open courts, and they had about. 500 extras cheering on cue and stuff and that can be distracting but I I've, I've done that before in a, a long time ago but have I've you ever done, done a love scene in a movie uh, no, no. Uh, have you unfortunately no but I'd like to yeah. sometime and Brian have you have you ever done a love scene in a in one of Wes Anderson's movies never done a love scene although I've loved a lot of the people that I worked with does that count yes well yeah. That's good. <laughs> so, um, Sanjay, when you were playing, <coughs> shooting the, the, the uh, tennis scene in Royal Tenenbaums, could you, as uh, a psychiatrist, could you analyze Richie Tenenbaum? Well, that's, that's a really good question, Peter. And why he had a nervous breakdown. I mean, clearly he was in love with his sister and there was a lot of paternal rage. But to have such a severe break like he had, mm. I mean, was he schizoaffective? Was he schizophrenic? Was he bipolar? Was this just pure panic? What drug would you have prescribed? Remeron. Remeron. Well, I, I want to uh, thank everybody for thank joining thank in on you. this uh, you, conversation. You, it's been very enlightening, very interesting. and. Um, from New York, we thank Brian Tenenbaum, and we thank Kumar Palana and Dipak Palana and Sanjay Matthew and Stephen Dignan. Dignan. Yeah, Dignan, sorry. Sanjay. Oh, Sanjay. <laughs> and, uh, oh, Dipak. <laughs> and uh, thank you for tuning in, and this is Peter Bradley. Good night.